Hi friends, it's Tracy from the Financial Freedom Diary and today I'm back to do my week one checkup for the month of April for my cash envelopes. What do I have on hand? I have my Erin Condren Deluxe Monthly Planner, um, an ink pen, the Pilot Precise V5, um, my Planner Kate No Spin stickers, and my Savvy Sense Wallet, which I need to replace because it's starting to look a little worn. And I think I say that a lot and I haven't done it yet. <laughs> If you're new or returning to have a subscribe to my channel, please consider doing so now. Um, and to everyone who has returned and has subscribed to my channel, I appreciate each and every last one of you. I know you all have been watching the ads and trying to add to my debt snowball. So I appreciate all of you for doing that because, yeah, some of these YouTube ads are kind of weird. But I did find a funny one where this lady had um, was attacking these guys who were trying to help her. <laughs> I think she dropped something and he went to pick it up and she pepper sprayed him or something. It was pretty funny. But I can't remember what the name of that ad is. But anywho, let me get started. So I kind of cheated this week. I'm not going to say I kind of cheated. I did cheat because this week was a little bit rough for me and my allergies have flared up and so I have had headaches like almost every single day. But I'm feeling better today and that's all that matters. And But I do need to refill my allergy pill that I take at night. And I just realized I don't have my calculator. Okay. So I can't find my calculator. I don't know where I put it. I'm going to use my iPad and I'll probably try to record this, the calculation separately because I do have this ring light right here. It um, throws a glare on the calculator on my iPad. I have no idea where I put that calculator at. But anyway, I went back and added in a transaction that I had forgotten and it was laundry. Um, I spend ten dollars there. Or actually, I broke ten dollars because I always have some extra quarters over there, and I also take any extra quarters out of my change purse from one week to the next. I, I don't like a lot of change in here, and I just use the quarters for laundry. I spent okay. I went to three stores, and what I had done was when I got back, so I have some more lines. Um, I combined the totals from. The receipts. So groceries came from Walmart and Aldi, and I spent ninety six thirty seven. Uh, my personal, because I had to re up on a lot of my like shampoos, um, hair ties. Um, what else did I get myself? Face wash, all that stuff. I spent fifty six fifty six, and that was at Walmart and Target. So I'm trying to go to just one place but I'm finding that I can't find everything I need in one place. Household I end up spending $68.28. Didn't know I spent that much um, at Walmart, Tar Target, and Aldi. And so when I was in Walmart I was trying to find I needed all detergent. I used the all free and clear. Um, I needed the Febreze, the one that gets the odor out of stuff. So this helps with the loads because sometimes you can wash clothes but you still can smell um, odor in them like sweat odor so I use that because my boys have manual jobs one is outside a lot and he drives on like a tug and it has like jet fuel in his clothes so I need to get all that odor out and so I was looking for that couldn't find it couldn't find it all free and clear I needed toilet bowl cleaner, couldn't find that, and it was just a mess. And of course, of course, I needed uh, paper towels, and they had two, the two rolls at Walmart. So I'm like, what if they don't have any at Aldi or Target? Let me get these. So I bought one of those, and then I go over. I got some uh, forks too, forks and some other stuff from Walmart, and then Target. I go to Aldi next because Aldi is right across the street from Walmart. So I go there. They got the 10 pack of paper towels. It's bolder. Um, I can't remember if I've used that brand before. I feel like I have. Didn't really care too much for it. But I'm like, look, preference aside, get what you need and get the hiccup out of here. <laughs> 
So I got that and I got some more food items because they also have the chicken patties that uh, taste like um, Chick-fil-A. It's in a red bag. And if you put those in the oven and you can make a chicken sandwich out of those, they are good. So they had those and some other stuff that I was looking for. So only thing I can't find is a bag of rice, which I need some brown rice. But um, anyway, and then we made it over to Target because I still needed personal items. And I was like, okay, I needed my detergent and stuff. So ended up rounding up getting detergent from there. And we went and I just, you know, because I'm nosy like that. And every time I go into one of these stores, I'm looking to see if they have paper towels and tissue. Which has become a new strange habit of mine. Um, they had Bounty. And they had those really big packs. <laughs> so I was like, um, one, I got that. So I'm like, okay, now I feel like I have the number of paper towels I would have if I could have gotten into Sam's. And if they had paper towels, that's the way I feel now. So I'm like, okay, I'm good there. Need TP. DP is next. Um, but anywho, so I just totaled up the receipts um, from each store and sorted it that way. Because other than that, I would have been breaking like you would see Walmart three times. You would see Target two times. You would see Aldi two times. And that would take up a lot of room. And then I'm like, okay, what about the rest of the month? So, and with the food, the reason why I spent so much this time was I'm trying to get as much as I can of the staples in the house. And then just refill for the remainder of the month. And I hope that makes sense. I don't have a lot of freezer space. And the last time I looked, it was pretty full. But I still need to go back and check. And so when I go to the store, I know there's something that I need. Oh, I need to go to Target for my allergy pills. So I'm going to go there and since I'm going to the one store, I'm just going to try to get everything I need. I'm kind of, you know, with Target's prices. I like Target, but I don't want to pay two times what something is actually worth, you know, from an, another store. It's kind of crazy. So groceries, I spent $96.37 and I just realized that's going to make this easier on me. <laughs> I didn't spend anything in restaurants. I spent 10 in laundry. I spent 68. Okay, I was about to buy 62. 68. 28. And personal 56. 56. Just pretty neat. And so I'm not going to put the iPad over here because I don't want you guys catching that glare and some of you guys well most of y'all <laughs> I think all of you do math better than me so 300 minus 96.37 see if make sure I wrote that down from one side to the next and I guess I need to move that over yeah and so the balance is 203.63. So let's see what I got in my wallet. And I did household wrong too. Um, 51, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 200, 201, 202, 203, 204. So I have 204 left. Make sure my heads are pointing in the right direction. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Let's there. Two o four. Restaurants. I didn't spend anything, so I should have forty dollars in here. And I did put some more coupons for my groceries for Kroger. I haven't been to Kroger's since this whole thing broke out, but I do have some coupons, so I probably will be stopping by. To use those so my restaurants my paper clip is still on there um i still have the 40. um laundry i should have 45. 20 45. I 
household. Yeah, spent almost all of that. And I did that wrong, so 70 minus 68.28. So let me put this back. Should have a dollar and some change, but I may have two dollars in here. <clears throat> Excuse me, voice is trying to go out, but it's all my allergies. So I have two dollars left there. So I guess I'm not getting anything else. Okay, so household. What I was supposed to have done was use my gift cards for Target. I have fifteen dollars in gift cards on the other side of my wallet here. So I have those there that I got around Christmas time when I was buying things. Um, I forgot children from youth villages and my kids stuff from um, Target. And so I got those gift cards, but I never used them. And so I was going to use them to offset this. And of course I forgot. So personal started out with a hundred. I spent 56.56 and 43, 44 is what I should have left. Let me count before I write anything down because I'm looking at my desk and I don't see my whiteout either. 20, 40, 1, 2, 3. So I got $43 here. So yep, I've been heating the stay at home order. And I have to say, when I do go out, there have been some oddball things going on. <laughs> and I, you know, I want to say it's the stress of everything and people having to stay put, not being able to go places. But I see crazy stuff going on around here on an average day, too. So I don't know. But some woman in Walmart was so frustrated. She was talking about climbing to the top of the racks so she could knock the toys down. Because they had no toilet paper up there. And I'm like, if they had toilet paper up there, you still can't get up there and get it. So, I had no spins. Monday through Saturday. And no shopping, no eating out. And Sunday, because we had been running, I wanted to go eat something anywhere else and no I went home there was a woman in Target clowning because the Starbucks was closed yelling that the virus is not in Memphis I mean I thought she escaped from one of the homes because <laughs> I'm like there's a home down the street for seniors and maybe that's where she came from. They kept putting her out. She kept coming back in. Cutting up. And I was like, thank God I'm leaving. So, and I have paid all my bills. These are the auto pays. And these are two I pay. I need to switch my rent to auto pay. And the rest of the bills will be coming out of my second paycheck. Now, my goals. This is where, <laughs> this is where I messed up. Um, and I hope you guys can see. I was supposed to spend $100 in groceries and I spent 96. Yeah, I think it was 96. I wasn't supposed to spend anything in restaurants and I didn't. Household, I was supposed to stop at 65. Because I could see myself if there was toilet paper, getting toilet paper at Target and everything else along with the $15 in gift cards that I had. So if I used my gift cards, I wouldn't be this low in cash. But whatever. I did it. It was everything I needed. So it's not like I was out buying candy. Um, personal, my max was $40. No, wait a minute. Did you see that? I didn't get that one. And just like I said, my whiteout. Oh, here it is. Whew. Since I've been moving around, working downstairs, I'm moving stuff that normally is in my room. So I didn't get the household. And personal was 40. I spent 56, 56. So I missed that one too. So I only got two out of the four because I overspent. But I have everything I need. So I'm not going to sweat it too much. 
and I do have money to last me for the rest of the month. You guys let me know how you did. And are y'all seeing some weird stuff going on out here? And um, also, what is your guilty pleasure while we're doing this whole quarantine thing? What do you do? What are you doing to stay home and stay safe, but to keep yourself occupied? Let me know in the comment section below because I think I need some tips. <laughs> I probably need to be studying. That's what I need to be doing. But if you haven't had a moment to subscribe, please consider doing so now. And I will talk to y'all later. Bye.